This is a nice feature I'm doing. Hi, this is Andre Baldry at vacantaddresses.com. And um, I can show you how you can map the addresses that you get from us, or any addresses for that matter. Um, I can show you how to map them on um, a map mapping app, and this one here is uh, Google Maps, where you get pinpoints for every property on the list. So as you're driving through neighborhoods, um, rather than you know trying to uh, map out physical list that you might you know already obviously electronically have it's nice to have them mapped out um, so all you have to do is drive and just follow uh, your GPS markers to where you're at like I'm about to uh, roll up on this property 402 Dorset and um, uh, this again is a list that you can get from vacantaddresses.com uh, you can download a list we give you a free sample for your area uh, you can download that immediately. Uh, just go to vacantaddresses.com. You'll see information on the free sample. And you just drop in your zip code. And here I am, 402 Dorset. So I'm right here in front of this property. And uh, I'm going to take notes on that one and write that down. And as I go to the next one, uh, we'll keep it here for one second while we go to 208 East Circle Avenue. So I'm going over here. So this is pretty cool, you know, you can map them out uh, in Google Maps, you can uh, upload the list. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just uh, send me a message, um, or maybe I'll put information on the video, maybe a little tutorial, or a link to a video. I'm sure there's plenty of people that already have videos on there, so there's no sense in uh, reinventing the wheel, as we say. Um, 208 Circle, this is Circle 208, oh yeah, there it is. Yep. All right. So uh, that's all I have for now. So um, over and out for now. All right. Uh, good luck to you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, this is Andre Baldry at vacantaddresses.com. Uh, just a quick video to explain the procedure of how to um, upload to Google Maps to get your pinpoints on your cell phone. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to initiate this from the cell phone, so you have to start from a PC. And on this particular uh, PC, um, I'm going to start with Gmail uh, because Google is connected to your Gmail account. Um, so whichever Gmail account you want to use, I've got mine on the screen, and uh, we'll just use this as an example. So I'm currently in Gmail uh, for my account. Dot com slash maps. Okay. Um, so in Google Maps, if you go to the um, the menu, which is uh, this icon right here, and you go down to your places, and in your places, uh, there's options for labeled, saved, visited, and maps. Uh, we want to go to maps. As you can see, I've got quite a few maps already here. I use this quite often. Uh, at the bottom, there's an option to create a map. Uh, so if you click create map, that takes you to a screen and this is where you can upload your data. So for example, if you've purchased our vacant property list um, at vacantaddresses.com and we do have a free sample, by the way, anyone listening to this video can go to our website, vacantaddresses.com, and download a free sample for the zip code. Sorry, had to throw that commercial in there. Uh, but at any, any rate, we're going to import um, our data, the data that we downloaded. Um, so select file. And in the file, it's going to bring up every single field in the file. Um, you can add as many fields uh, as you would like, but what I do at minimal, I just need the address, the city, the state, and the zip. Uh, so the, these are the fields that's going to be used to plot uh, each particular pinpoint. So I'll go address, uh, city, state, and usually the short version of the zip code. Okay. Um, I won't really need the county. If you want the county on there, you can certainly click it. Um, I'll go ahead and add it now, um, just for an example. Uh, and if you want the unit number, we can go ahead and add that as well for those that ordered the list with the unit numbers. Um, and continue. And then um, 
each pinpoint is going to have a title. What I like to see for the title of the pinpoint is I uh, just put my mouse over the pinpoint and, and hover over it or select it. The main title that I want to see is the address. I don't want to see a county. I don't want to see a state. For each of those pinpoints, uh, show me an address. And that's what that is. So you can select any one of these options. I select we do address. I suggest we do address. Um, finish. And it begins to upload that data. And it's going to map those pinpoints. Occasionally, there are a couple of errors uh, in addresses. In this case, there weren't any. Uh, sometimes it'll come up with errors, maybe one, two, or three. Um, I usually ignore those. Um, you know, it's just an address formatting problem. Uh, doesn't match precisely to the Google Maps. And the Google Maps will give you an option right on the screen to go ahead and correct that. Uh, but for the sake of this example, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but nonetheless, here are all my map points for these addresses. Um, now they're ready to be used on Google Maps um, on the mobile version. So I'll switch over to the mo mobile version and show you um, how to pull that information up and be back in a sec. Oh, one thing I wanted to add before I step away from here. Um, if you're going to be adding quite a few maps, which I do, I usually go ahead and label these. Right now it's an untitled map. Uh, if we just click the title here, we can change it. And we'll call this Southfield Michigan. You can give it any title that you want. I usually leave the description uh, I, I just give it a title and leave the description blank, but it's up to you if you want to give it a further description. And then I save it, and that way it will identify uh, this map from other maps that I might have in um, Google Maps. And uh, let me just bounce back over to Google Maps here, do a refresh, and now you'll see, um, along with all my other maps, I've got one entitled Southfield. So by clicking Southfield, that takes me to that map. Uh, these maps will also list on your mobile. As we get to that, I'll show you that uh, and how you can pull up uh, either one of these maps on your cell phone. Okay, so we'll bounce over to the cell phone now. Thank you. Okay, now we're on the cell phone and on your cell phone, and it'll work on either Android or Apple, whichever phone you have. As long as you have the Google Maps application, I'll go ahead and click Google Maps. And in Google Maps, uh, there's that icon in the upper left-hand corner again for the menu. If you go ahead and click that, you'll see an option there for your places. You go to your places. And uh, you can't see it here, but if you slide over the menu to the top, uh, you'll see a Maps option. Go ahead and click that. And there's our maps, all the maps that, uh, that I've created. Um, and the one that we just created. It's called Southfield, Michigan. Click that, and voila, there's all your pinpoints, and this is tied into your GPS. So as you drive about, um, this will direct you to uh, every one of those pinpoints. And if you tap each, any one of those, there's our title there. Remember, we put the address as the title. So as you tap any one of these in Southfield, um, it gives you your title. And if you pull up details on any one of them, it gives us everything that we checked. Um, I added the county, remember, I added the, uh, the unit, and uh, uh, it's got all the information there. All right, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, please share this information, our website, um, with your friends and family, or your friends and associates. They can get a free sample at vacantaddresses.com. Uh, as a limited time offer just by entering their zip code and um, they can uh, download a free sample of the post office vacant list. All right. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you.